Come along with me as I give an example of how I use Kotrex on a summer hike to scope out places to cross-country downhill ski. So first off, Kotrex is a free app that shows where trails are in Colorado, and these can be sorted by ATV, for example, which really means multi-use dirt trail. You also have hiking trails. These are typically just for hikers or maybe horseback. And you can even choose things like cross-country skiing trails, although this probably means that's a snowmobile trail. Occasionally there will be a trail shown there that is really just intended for cross-country skiing. One safety measure I typically take is to take a screenshot of the map before I head out, just in case the app refreshes, although that doesn't usually happen. I will mention one disadvantage that Kotrex has compared to subscription apps like OnX is it doesn't show property lines. In this case, I had to go through private property, but that was permissible here. Some places it may not be. There's kind of an exciting amount of yellow that's starting to appear in the understory. Meteorological fall begins tomorrow. If you are using Kotrex to find places to cross-country ski in the backcountry in the winter that aren't specifically labeled as cross-country ski areas, I do recommend checking it out in the summer, or at least a season where the trail is dry, just so you can get an idea for things like trail width and maybe steepness of slopes on either side of the trail that are hard to tell from the app just because the resolution isn't going to be close enough to really give you a feel for things like that. As an example of what I just mentioned, right here on this particular trail, that's a pretty precipitous drop down into the stream. And that tells me that maybe I would only want to do this when the snow is consolidated, maybe in the spring. Here's what that particular spot looks like on Kotrex. You can't necessarily tell that there's going to be that drop off. Another thing to consider when looking for places to ski would be forest type. Lodgepole might ski okay compared to spruce, which is probably too thick. Aspen tend to ski okay. They're often broken up by meadows and maybe the trees aren't too close. On the app, you can definitely tell where the aspens are compared to the evergreens, although you can't necessarily tell what kind of evergreen you might be dealing with, which of course matters. Something I'll sometimes do if maybe I can't get out and hike a trail in the summer or maybe I'll just do this anyways sometimes, is I'll try to corroborate what I'm seeing on Kotrex with the Google Maps app, which does have higher resolution. It's maybe a little easier to see what those meadows are going to look like between the aspens and maybe if there's better spacing between the trees. I still always end up coming back to Kotrex though because it shows where the trail is and it has the topo overlay on the satellite image. And here, of course, is what that area on the map looks like in real life. Looks pretty skiable to me. Nice meadows, not overly steep. Just steep enough, especially in the spring. Now, if you'll excuse me for a moment while I hike further up along this trail through some interesting aspen groves, eventually I'll wanna talk about some of the things I use Kotrex to try to analyze and think about as I get higher up in the mountains, as we get to maybe uh, different dangers and things. Alrighty, well, I'm finally approaching the top of this particular plateau. And looking at the map, I can see those topo lines tightening up. That tells me that there's a steep push to the very top. That does allow the views to open up a bit but it also means that I probably only want to come up here maybe in late May or something. I don't know that I'd want to ski that particular slope, but at least I could hike up it when the snow is consolidated. I think that come late May, there wouldn't be much snow at the low elevations, but up here around 10,000 feet with cold sinks like the one you're looking at right now, I think there would still be a few feet of snow to come up and skip around on with my cross-country skis. Now take just a few moments to share the summit with me. Kind of cool seeing these big bushes of crawling juniper. Don't see that too often. I'm right at 10,000 feet here. 
and looking out towards the northwest here in the northwest part of Colorado you can probably see some parts of the valley down there that are about 4,000 feet lower than where I am right here Michael Bloomberg has a ranch and mansion right about there in case you were wondering the trail didn't take me over to these particular views, but I was able to use Kotrex to help bushwhack to a spot where it looked like there would be thinner trees and a uh, steep drop off with a view to the north. I also used it to help bushwhack back to the trail as these meadows were kind of nondescript. There wasn't enough topography to use as a landmark. Currents. Wow. That is delicious. I want to borrow a little bit of footage from a different hike to mention one final use of Kotrex, and that is to try to identify avalanche terrain. Thanks to the overlay of topography on the satellite image, if you see steep lines of topo and a clearing with no trees, that's a possible avalanche run, especially if it's facing north or east. And sometimes I can also use it to try to identify where maybe some summer cornices would be, such as this one that I'm skiing in the footage here. So anyways, thanks for joining me on this hike. If you use Kotrex or maybe a similar app, especially if it's free, feel free to drop a comment explaining how you use it. I'm sure I've left some stuff out.